Wembley Stadium. Stadium Coliseum Turn Drift Track was the stage for round four of the ESDA Pro Championship with some of the highest qualifying scores in any ESDA round. You knew the battles were going to be intense. The drivers, it was risk it or biscuit on the walls. And it was nothing other than an amazing show. In the left top side of the bracket, Darren Baker going up against that yellow and black S14. Throwing it down. Definitely some solid chase driving by Darren Baker. Going in and advancing his way into the top 16 on the top left side of the bracket. He was on a tear, you know, trying to gain those points for the ESDA Pro Championship to work his way up to try to catch current points leader Zach O'Sullivan and in the round of 16 Darren Baker goes up against Jamie Healy the number one qualifier for this round of ESDA and some intense close tandem battles between Jamie Healy and Darren Baker with mere inches to go between the bumpers on transitions riding the walls uh, Darren Baker showing why he was definitely an amazing chase driver. Jamie Healy throwing why he was top qualifier in the round. As you can see, it was just a slugfest between these two. A couple more, one more times, and an amazing run nonetheless. Darren Baker getting the win and going to the great eight where he was going up against Gregory. Gregory. And it was a insanely tight battle between these two, but Darren Baker ended up eking out the win in the great eight to solidify his spot for the final four for the top left side of the bracket. A little bit of a miscalculation and a bump was what definitely solidified the win, putting him in the final four of the left top side. In the bottom left side of the bracket, it was Yasir in that blue s14 throwing down the door of that e36 wagon and definitely showing that he was here not only to throw doors but to throw down amazing lead runs it was these runs that gave him the win moving him on into the top 16 of the bottom left side of the bracket yasir had a little bit of a gap which put into current points leader zach o'sullivan and Yasir going in a little bit of a miscalculation in Jack, Zach O'Sullivan's run, causing him to actually tap the wall and straighten up in his lead, knocking him out in the round of 16, giving Yasir the fast pass to the great eight. And moving on into the great eight with Yasir, he was going against Dylan and some amazingly close chase battles in the great eight on the bottom left side of the bracket by Yasir was is what was giving him the edge against all the competitors on that side. Yasir was able to take the win and move on in the great eight to move and solidify his spot into the final four for the bottom left side. Moving on to the top rest right side of the bracket, it was Vicaris versus Holloway with some very intense clip action going on on that front clip. Vakaris definitely running smooth lines, showing Holloway that I'm here and my your door is now mine. So very close and upfront battles. Definitely was an amazing time. He did take the win, moving on into the 16 where he went against Brandon Garner. So Brandon Garner putting up a fight and. Definitely not going out without a fight. Vicaris did end up taking the win in the round of 16, moving his way into 8, where he was going to go against Hilbrand. So it was Hilbrand versus Vicaris in the Great 8. A little bit of a slugfest between these two S chassis, but a little bit wide by Hilbrand causing a little bit of a judging to slide more to Vakaris. Vakaris ended up taking the win in that and solidifying his spot in the final four for the top right. Bottom right side of the bracket it was Cormick versus Vadim and Vadim showing some smooth driving. Cormick doesn't seem too settled and 
was trying to play catch up. Vadim running that picture perfect lead run. Cormick misjudging his entry into the final zone, causing a little contact and ending up straightening up getting Vadim into the top 16. In the top 16, it was Vadim versus that Drift 21 as chassis, and it was a slugfest for these guys as well. The drivers were all on point, but Vadim showing how smooth and consistent he could be. Drift 21 car making a little bit of a tap on the wall, straightening up, giving him the fast pass to the great eight and the final four so in the final four you had darren baker versus yasir for the left side and after some really close battles and some intense tandem it was darren baker taking the win and moving on into the finals here for round four of esda darren baker in the gtr definitely an amazing car so moving on to the other side of the bracket it was vicaris versus versus Vadim and these two S chassis huge slugfest and Vadim was showing that he was definitely there a little miscalculation from Vakaris in the chase gave Vadim the win moving Vadim into the finals to go head to head against Darren Baker Darren Baker versus Vadim in the finals was what we expected to see was just intense tandem battles, nice close tandem battles because these drivers were on point all day, nice and smooth, very consistent. So that's why these two were in the finals. Darren Baker was hungry to gain some points to move up so he could try and get a points championship in the regular season. So it ended up going to the judges, and it was Darren Baker taking the win at round four of ESDA. Vadim taking second. Yasir taking third for the round four. It was definitely an amazing round. These drivers and battles were insane, and it was an amazing event with the points race getting closer with some of the main competitors and some of the top spots getting knocked out in early rounds of round four. The championship is going to be tight. With four rounds in the books, the ESDA Pro Championship is officially halfway through the season, and staff and drivers are looking forward to the next and final rounds.